Well, did you know that 216 years ago, the U.S. bought a huge chunk of land in what's known as the Louisiana Purchase? So how did it all go down? Matt Gregory with This Week in History explains. All right, what's this week? Uh, Purchase of Louisiana. Does anybody even live in Louisiana? The Galligators? Yeah, yeah, I know that. Ryan Gosling? Maybe. Hmm. You've heard of the Louisiana Purchase, but do you know why the United States purchased Louisiana? That's our topic on This Week in History. Before 1803, Louisiana was a vast tract of land that ran from modern day New Orleans all the way up to Montana and owned entirely by the French. No! <laughs> First it was France's, then it was Spain's, then back to France's all over again. By 1802, the United States had this agreement with Spain to use the Port of New Orleans as an access point to the Mississippi River. The mighty Mississippi! Just to give you some context, the mighty Mississippi was a major transportation hub. Within 15 years of the Louisiana Purchase, there were over 1,200 cargo ships using it per year. That's boats, boats, boats. But that year, the Spanish suddenly went back on their agreement. That doesn't seem very Spanish. It seems very Napoleon. That's because the little big guy had secretly regained control of Louisiana for the French. The monk. And this put Americans in a bind. Looks like Louisiana needs a little American freedom. So Thomas Jefferson, you remember old TJ, he sent negotiators to France to offer to buy New Orleans. Shockingly, not only were the French offering New Orleans, they offered all of Louisiana. That's like negotiating with your teacher to get an F move to a D, and instead your teacher's like, hey, I have an idea. How about we make you valedictorian? I was valedictorian. Weren't you homeschooled? Yeah. How was prom? At least I went. Hey, I went. With my mom. Basically, Napoleon needed money from the Americans to fund his upcoming war with the British. And on April 30th, 1803, Americans took control of Louisiana. So President Jefferson sent explorers Lewis and Clark. Played by Terry Hatcher and Dean Cain. No. Dean Cain. Yeah. Dean Cain. Anyway, <laughs> Lewis and Clark traveled all the way from New Orleans up to Montana, documenting nature, the native people, and obviously the land as they made their way across the continent. They went as far west as the Pacific Ocean through Oregon over a two-year journey. In the end, the Louisiana Purchase doubled the size of the Young Republic. Oh, and most definitely led to the rapid demise of the Native Americans on this continent. But that's history. You take the good with the horribly tragic. Oh my gosh.